In the mixing glass, we're gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of sugar. Now, if you're like me and you're lazy and you don't wanna measure out two teaspoons of sugar, it's very simple. A sugar cube, believe it or not, is already a teaspoon of sugar. So all we gotta do is add in two teaspoons. Now don't use your hands because that's disgusting. And now with some tongs, we're gonna go ahead and add four slices of cucumber and four slices of fresh jalapeno. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and muddle this down and all we're doing when we muddle is we're just releasing the juices from the cucumber and the uh, jalapenos and also crushing up that sugar. So we're just gonna crush So now that we have our ingredients all muddled together, we're gonna go ahead and add the liquids. So we're gonna go ahead and do two ounces of triple sec. And two ounces, good old tequila. Smooth, son. Let's add some ice to this bag. Now I know there's already two teaspoons of sugar in there, but this also does add a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit, half an ounce of agave syrup. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shake it up. If you wanna shake it nice and good, when you do this, because you want to really mix in the juice of the jalapeno, you want to break down that sugar because it's going to be caked at the bottom when you muddle. Tumble back into the glass. Make sure you get all the machine out. Now we're going to go ahead and rim this glass, and we're going to rim it a little bit differently. So only one side of the margarita glass, so we're going to split this in half. Put some wine, just the first half. We're going to add our salt to that. With our second half, we're going to go ahead and add some chamoy. And just kind of roll it around. And then we're going to go ahead Stick it in the tiny and just kind of roll it around. This the tiny will come off. It's okay if a little goes inside. And there's the rim for our jalapeno margarita. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some ice. So now we're gonna pour in the strainer, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna ditch the strainer because we wanna pour all of this goodness into our drink. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour that down. Make sure you get all your jalapenos and cucumbers in there. Grab a bar spoon, just mix that in there like so. Look at that. This way the flavor stays in there the whole time you drink the drink. You have the spiciness from the jalapeno, and then you have the freshness of that cucumber to sort of balance everything out. You also have the sweetness of the sugar, and it all comes together in perfect balance. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And now we're gonna garnish this bad boy. We're gonna put cucumber, sorry, on the side of the tahini, and a lime on the salt side. And look at that. Now it looks like the mascot of an evil corporation. But it's going to taste fucking delicious. So go ahead and uh, give that there a try, little filler. Another one? Oh, this. That's nice. That's good.
I'm glad you enjoyed that, man. You look like you're feeling really good. So anyway, let's get on to the fourth and final cocktail, which is a Paloma. <laughs> 